I'm such a proud dad. Rocket is seven and a half months old and he's powering. When I first got Rocket, he was 600 grams. He doesn't look much bigger, but he's actually 1.7 kilos now. So he's doing really well. In the wild, Rocket's mum would have him on foot. And what that means is right next to her. He'd still be going into the pouch for milk. She would be stopping him from going into the pouch fully by either pushing him away or they give them little nips. And that signals that it's time to be on your own and outside the pouch. So I replicate that a little bit. I start taking his pouches away. I just decrease the milk. I don't give him little nips and things like that. I just decrease the milk and increase his solid food. And that is a natural progression of weaning. Brush tail rock wallabies are really active during the night. When I get home, I let him out and about after his first bottle around about six o'clock and he goes absolutely crazy. I've actually had to lift up all of my um, delicates like candles and lamps because he's just running around all my surfaces, so quite crazy. Brush-tail rock wallabies live in rocky outcrops, so they have all these rocks to bounce around, little hidey holes, and my house does replicate that to a certain point. So he's uh, replicating what he would do in the wild, he's exploring, he maps out the whole house and he knows the house really well. Brush-tail rock wallabies are nocturnal, so you know what that means, I don't get much sleep. Rocket is really important to our breeding program. Every rock wallaby is. They're endangered. Uh, they've been hammered by bushfires, floods, droughts. So saving little Rocket to go back into our breeding program has been a highlight of my life. To support Rocket, you can make a tax deductible donation at aussiearc.org.au.